Today we will be going over how to install the Funny Playing ITA TFT Backlight Kit. A written guide with all the required tools can be found in the video description. We have already disassembled the Game Boy Advance. Check out our disassembly guide linked below for more information. This kit includes the TFT panel, the TFT driver board, two flex cables, and three wires that will be soldered to the board later. To start, we are going to identify the type of console you have. You can tell by the number printed next to the ribbon cable port. Your Game Boy will either be a 40 pin model or a 32 pin model. Once we have picked out the required flex cable, we will move on to a dry test. Please note that 40 pin consoles will need the C54 capacitor removed before testing. For more information about dry testing, check out our wiki guide on the subject linked below. Now that we have ensured the display works correctly, we will be modifying the shell for the screen to fit. I used a TFT compatible shell for this mod, however an OEM shell will work with some trimming. For my shell, I had to trim two tiny pieces of plastic for the screen to sit flat. If you are using an OEM shell, everything highlighted in red will have to be cut down flat in order for the screen to fit. The screen itself will also need minor adjustments in order to fit. There are three white tabs on the screen that will need to be removed. We recommend either a set of flush cutters or an X-Acto knife for this process. This kit requires the soldering of three wires to the board in order to adjust the brightness. You can technically install the kit without these wires, however you will be unable to change the brightness. Solder the wires to the ribbon cable first as it will make attaching them to the main board easier. For more general information about soldering, check out our wiki posting about it linked below. Once you have all three wires soldered, it's time for another test before final reassembly. The black touch sensor can also be folded onto itself to keep it out of the way. If everything looks good and the buttons are working to adjust the brightness, then you can proceed with putting the console back together. Note that the screen must be placed in the top left corner of the screen area. You can use the black piece of tape that comes with the kit to help hold it in place along with the 3M glue. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them below. Subscribe to our channel and check out our ever-growing wiki linked below.